morning guys and welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i posted a video on here there has been a lot going on in my personal life so i had to take a small break from posting youtube videos because it, it just became a bit too much uh, but now i am back on regular schedule and today i am filmi filming a um, skincare routine for you guys um, i will start with my morning skincare routine and then i will also show you what I use at night. Um, as you just saw, I already washed my face. Uh, I lately have been using the cleanser from CeraVe, Seraf, um, which is quite a good one. I would say that in comparison to other cleansers that I've used before, this has not been like my top favorite because I have seen that my face has been a bit oilier compared to the other cleansers. Uh, but still it's a very good one, it's a very gentle one, so I think that's quite important for me. Um, I will go now on with the rest of my morning skincare routine. So as I said, I just cleansed my face, so now I always like to go on and use this thermal spray. Um, and I just feel like it gives a bit of like extra hydration to my face, so I spray that on. Um, and I then move on to a serum. This is an intense lifting serum from Skin Code. Skin Code is a Swiss uh, brand. Actually, I have heard very good words um, regarding this brand, so I decided to give it a try. I only have um, this serum and I have been only using it, I think, for the past two weeks maybe or one week and a half or so. So I cannot really judge any results so far um, it has not caused me any irritation or I have not like had any like breakouts because of it so I think that so far it's actually doing its job um, but I mean the serum is called an intensive lifting serum so I think that I have to use it for a while to actually see then some results but yeah, I apply this all over my face and as always i try also not to forget my neck because i feel like it's the part that i usually skip the most but i try to be as good as i can with it it also absorbs really nicely into the skin and it doesn't leave it leave it feeling um, kind of dry um, so I really like that generally in products but yeah so this is the serum I'll definitely keep you guys posted um, if I see any results and yeah if it's if in general I think it's a good product or not but so far I have always seen like positive things but not like the results that is actually promising for Next I will use, um, or next I will go on to the moisturizer. This is also a new product that I have been testing, which is this one, the moisturizer from Bubble, uh, which is just called Level Up Balancing Moisturizer. It's also a very nice one. It is fragrance free, which um, is becoming, I think, an important part of my skincare routine. Um, I just like, I felt, as I have been watching and taking the suggestions of Hiram on YouTube, which you guys know by now that is my skincare guru, I would say. And um, this product was also a recommendation of his. Um, he mentioned it in one of his videos. And he is also one that is obsessed with fragrance-free um, skincare. And actually before using this moisturizer that I'm currently applying, um, I actually got another moisturizer from another brand. Um, and the moment I opened it, it was so, like the fragrance was so intense that I just kind of like realized that, okay, I think I moved past having like skincare that smells really good, but it's so, so intense. And I kind of like prefer now like skincare that is just like fragrance free. I feel like it works the best for me. I am generally not very good with um, products that have a very intense fragrance. I am just, I am like that with kind of everything. I am with like, like that with soaps, with perfumes, with anything. I don't like very intense smells. So it's definitely like important for me to have something that I can feel comfortable wearing on my skin. 
but this one has been also very deeply moisturizing um, and I've been also using this I think for the past two weeks or so but I really really like it like I can feel my skin getting hydrated the moment that I apply it so I think it's actually doing what it's actually saying or promising so, so far I'm really happy with this product, I will definitely keep trying it and see the results but until now I have very positive reviews about this one. And lastly, at the most important, um, let's say, step of my morning skincare routine is SPF. Um, you guys already know that I am in love with this skin or with this uh, sunscreen from MD Solar Sciences. This is the second um, bottle that I have purchased from them. It's absolutely amazing. This has done amazing things for my skin. I cannot say enough positive things and especially for someone that has a very oily T-zone. I've always struggled with finding a good sunscreen for my, for my um, skin because it would always kind of probably clog my pores a lot and it just my skin would become more and more um, oily over time but this one is just so perfect because it has non-comedogenic uh, properties which means that your pores will not be clogged uh, due to the use of this product it's just it gives like kind of a matte finish but also not leaving your skin dry and it's just so so good it's also fragrance free it is paraben free oil free and it's just the best one i definitely will not probably change my sunscreen in a long time because I have tried so many and all of them failed for me but this one has been a life changer. So I apply a good amount on my skin because you know sunscreen is definitely important and yeah it's just such a good one. guys so this was my morning skincare routine um, I will probably go on now and put a tiny bit of makeup on and also do a bit my hair and then continue with the rest of my day but then I will see you again in the evening um, where I will show you also my night skin night skincare routine hi guys so it is evening now I had some work, um, mostly creative content for Instagram, um, but yeah, now it's the evening, I had um, some dinner and I now want to wash my makeup off and kind of have like a chill evening on the sofa, so I'll do that now and I'll show you all the steps of my night skincare routine. So after having used um, makeup for the whole day, normally like in these days I go for a double um, cleansing. Uh, so first I go with a micellar water and then I go with the usual cleanser and I normally use the same cleanser for the morning and the night. I know that there are like people that use different ones because in the morning one normally should be like a bit more gentle and so on. But um, I kind of feel like the one that I use is very gentle generally, so it's not gonna like strip my skin or anything. So I kind of use it like in the morning and evening. But now I will start first with the first step of the cleaning. I use this micellar water from Garnier. Um, I have been using this actually for quite a long time, I would say many years. I don't know, I just you know, when I find the product, I like to stick with it, and this is something that has not really um, caused any issues with my skin or caused any breakouts and so on. So I've been sticking with it and very happy. Alright, next I will go, as I said, with my cleanser, the one from Cerave. Um, I use the one that is normally for normal to oily skin. Alright guys, so I cleanse my face 
yes it definitely feels much cleaner than before i like love the feeling of just getting makeup off my face i, feel, I find it very very freeing uh, but yeah, since I've been in the past days, I think I've been wearing makeup almost every day because I had to shoot like content and so on. So I definitely want to have a very um, deep cleaning of my face and of my pores. So I'm going to put on a face mask. Um, I am currently using this one from Origins, uh, which is a clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores. Um, and yeah, I mean normally like my issue is always in the T zone. I have like the most impurities there, so I like to put this and leave it on for about 15 minutes, and then I wash it off and continue with the rest of my skincare. I definitely don't do this every day, but I like to do it at least once a week because I definitely feel that my face needs like this detoxing moment when I put this mask on. I like this mask, it's definitely not aggressive on my skin, which is always very nice. Um, I can't say, to be completely honest, that I have seen huge changes um, once I've started using it. Um, it definitely has like a very nice, like soothing um, feeling and it definitely helps to kind of clean a bit the face and the skin, but I have not seen great results in actually purifying my skin or getting rid of all like those you know impurities that we have uh, but yeah if i will continue using it and obviously maybe once i finish this i can get like a better review um so far it's been nice but not like an impressive um product i would say at least for me personally but i generally have it with masks like, like i've never had the mask that i've put on and said wow okay i can see results now so if you had that like let me know in the comments below i would interested to purchase like a mask that would actually work um, because I, I don't know like I feel like this is all just part of the marketing to create like this spa feeling at home and so on but I just I'm not 100% sure of actual results. guys time to take it off all right guys i must say that after using this mask my face my skin is so so soft like i love it it's really really soft all right so now i will continue with the rest of my uh night skincare routine so first i use again a bit of this thermal spray and then I will use, again, the lifting serum that I also used um, in my morning uh, skincare routine. I use this, or I apply this both in the morning and um, at night time. Next, um, I move to moisturizer. I have been using this one from Rovitin Clean, which is a Korean skincare brand. I'm very happy with this product. It's actually probably one of the last times that I get to use it because there's not much left. Um, I'll definitely keep this in the list of moisturizers that I really like and that in case that I will need to get new ones that I know that I can always rely. Um, onto this one, it's a very deep moisturizer which I find really nice for nighttime because I really want the skin also during the night to feel hydrated and moisturized. Um, but yeah, it's again a fragrant free um, vegan cruelty free product, just all the good stuff that you want in a skincare right now. This was also a recommendation from um, Hiram, so the YouTuber that I follow. Um, and as I said, like, he has not let me down. 
last step I'm going to use this eye cream. This is from Hey Organic. This is a sensitive eye cream serum. I also really love their products. They're also 100% natural, cosmetics, and vegan and cruelty free. So I really like that. I warm the product a bit on the tip of my finger before I apply it. And then I just go. It's definitely a very soothing uh, product. I used to have very dry under eyes because I never hydrated them and then I just always put the concealer and so on on top when I applied makeup. Um, and I noticed like in the last months that it was getting very very dry and also when I was applying makeup it was also not really applying properly because of the dryness. So I decided to purchase then a um, eye cream or eye serum and so far I've been really liking this one. It's a very gentle one. I think it does its job. Um, but yeah, this is the last step. These are kind of all the products that I use regularly. So as I said, the two cleansers and then I have the night moisturizer, SPF, the serum uh, from Skin Clone that I had been using. And then in certain days of the week, I will use this um, salicylic acid, which is very good also for cleaning the pores. Uh, this is the one from Paula's Choice, which I think is one of the best products right now on the market uh, when it comes to salicylic, uh, salicylic acid. Um, this is also for all skin types and clogs of pores, and it's actually really good. It's quite quite powerful, I must say, but I've been very happy with it. And then also on certain days, I will use retinol. I use this one from the Inky List, and I try to kind of um, you know, not put them all at the same time. I try to put retinol on one day, and then one day I clean my face with salicylic acid. Um, and yeah, one maybe like on some days I'll combine the retinol with the lifting serum. So I try to give my skin a break once in a while. And then I use these two um, uh, charcoal masks. I also use um, as a mask this one from Ordinary. Uh, which is the most famous one, I think, which is this peeling solution in this black color, which I'm sure you've probably seen online many times.